Hey T-Birds fans, Ryan Smith here. These are your T-Birds keys to the game driven by Fathers and Sons Volkswagen. T-Birds and the Bridgeport Islanders on a Sunday afternoon for sensory friendly Sunday here inside the Thunderdome as the T-Birds and Isles continue their bitter season rivalry. T-Birds trying to get an ounce of revenge against the Islanders. Bridgeport winning each of the final five meetings between the two clubs in Bridgeport. T-Birds trying to hold serve here on home ice and take a second consecutive win this weekend. Key number one for Dan Kachuk's team, the power play continuing to keep things simple on home ice. Even though the T-Birds have been dealing with a rash of injuries to key players up front, that has not stopped the man advantage from really being able to fire on all cylinders here in Springfield. Seven for their last 13 on the man advantage. That included Another two power play goals last night in the win over the Laval Rocket. That 7 for 13 is over the stretch of just the last three home games. And key number two for the T-Birds at the other end of the rink. In the third game of a 3-3 three and three, when there's bound to be some fatigue, you want to try to make life as easy as possible for goaltenders. Limit the shots on goal by the opposition. T-Birds have allowed 29 or more shots on goal in every game they have played since January the 24th. They average the second most shots allowed per game across the AHL. Certainly not something you want to put your defense and goaltender under too much of here today after Vadim Zarenko in his first game back from injury last night had to make 53 saves, tying a T-Birds season high in the win over the Rocket. T-Birds looking for an ounce of payback against the Islanders here this afternoon. These have been your T-Birds keys to the game driven by Fathers and Sons Volkswagen.